CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. It's pretty surprising. We're to our H storm, the earliest H storm on record. Uh, the last time was in 2005, which of course was a notoriously busy season. But none of the named storms so far have been hurricanes, but I think that's about to change. I think Hannah is on its way to be given a hurricane later tonight or tomorrow. Winds now up to 65 miles an hour. Of course, 75 is the hurricane threshold moving west at 8 miles an hour. Pressure is down, an indication of strengthening, and 165 miles east southeast of Corpus Christi. There is the storm size right there in terms of the tropical storm conditions. Tropical storm warnings up from Houston all the way down into northeast Mexico and hurricane warnings for a portion from Corpus Christi south to near South Padre Island there for hurricane conditions expected. And here's the future track. The future cone at this point, of course, is very small because we're very close to the storm and the cone only shows where the center is expected to be and then only two thirds of the time. So we this year are using a special graphic to kind of show really the extent of the storm there because most people when they feel tropical storm conditions they say hey I was hit by that storm so that's the extent of the tropical storm conditions from Corpus Christi even maybe a little bit north of that well into northeast Mexico and this red area here that's where the expected hurricane conditions will be there is your Saturday evening time frame so the weather decreases during the day Saturday Saturday night into Sunday going to be pretty bad there's the satellite map this evening and look at this watch towards the end of the loop there really all that thunderstorm activity kind of balls up there as it consolidates towards uh, the end of the satellite loop. That's definitely an indication of intensification. But this storm is kind of lopsided. The worst of the weather is trailing behind the center there. So uh, the center is going to arrive and it's going to be stormy right, for, right through the uh, nighttime hours tomorrow night into Sunday. There is our little Gonzalo. Uh, not looking at healthy tonight. A little bit of a pulse up there this evening. Winds estimated at 40 miles an hour. So barely a tropical storm. Picking up speed now moving to the west at 17. About 300 miles or so east of Trinidad, uh, bearing down on Trinidad and Deba Tobago. Uh, tropical storm warnings for Tobago, Grenada, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There, Barbados, the tropical storm warning has been dropped. The tropical storm area, those conditions kind of sweep across Tobago, uh, could impact Trinidad and maybe Grenada there, and then the storm is forecast to dissipate. That's the end of the track there, the last point. The other thing we're watching, which could become our next depression, way out there, uh, has some time to cross the Atlantic where conditions are marginal, but the wind shear drops here, temperatures are warm, and that's when we could see pro possible tropical development uh, next week, early next week. There's the radar tonight, some showers and thunderstorms around, and we're going to see some spotty storms around as we go through the weekend, but all in all, some sun at times too, so that's a good thing. Stray showers tonight, breezy along the beaches, a low near 84 tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. Pretty breezy at times, and spotty storms, a high temperature right around 90 degrees. On the water, small craft advisory east at 23 to 5 foot seas. Through the weekend, not a bad weekend to check your hurricane supplies. We're in hurricane season. That's a good thing to do. The weather's looking just fine for it. CBS 4 News Nights coming right back.